Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I am going to discuss fixture scope and contest file. In the last video, I have discussed what a fixture is and the uses of a fixture. When we create a fixture, then that fixture can only be accessed by the method inside the same module or file where we have created that fixture. And if you want to access the fixture from the methods available in another file, then the PyTest framework provides a solution as a conf test file. Fixtures created in conftest.py file can be accessed by the test from multiple test modules. When we run our test, and if those tests depends on the fixtures, then the PyTest framework looks for those fixtures in the conf test file. Now let's see how it works. Here I have one fixture method as driver chrome. And this fixture is used by these test methods. So this fixture can only be accessed by the methods available in the same file and cannot be accessed by the test methods available in another file or module. Now let me create another test file here. And I'm going to copy one of the methods and dependencies from the first file to this new file. Let me delete the fixture in this file because I want to access this fixture which is available in another file. And I'm going to rename this test method as test underscore verify dot net book price, which is going to verify the price of a dot net book. So let me update the locator values and the book price in this method based on the dot net book. I already have those details with me. So let me update the same over here. Now we can see that this method is dependent on this fixture driver Chrome, which is available in another test file. And let's see what happens when I try to run this test method. Here we can see it throws the error that fixture driver Chrome not found because this fixture is available in another test file and we cannot access the fixtures of another test file. Now to make fixtures accessible among different test files, we need to add our fixture in conftest.py file. So let me create a file with the name as Conf test. Make sure that you provide the same name because PyTest looks for the file with the name as conf test only. So the file is created. And now let me remove the fixture driver chrome from this test file. And I'll move it to conf test.py. Also, let me copy the dependencies. Now we have our fixture available in the conf test file. And we can see that the method here uses the driver Chrome fixture. Now, if I try to run the test, but let me first change the search parameter here as dot netbook. Now, if I run the test, You can see the execution has started, which means that the fixture now can be accessed by the test methods available in another test files. Because when PyTest found that the method uses a fixture, then first it looks for the fixture in the same file. And when the fixture is not found in the same file, then it looks for the fixture in the conf test file. So this is how you can create a conf test file to reuse the fixtures across multiple test files. Now the next thing which I want to discuss is the scope of fixtures. Fixtures are created when requested by a test 
and then destroy it based on their scope. For example, let's say you create a fixture to open a connection with the database and the default scope of the fixture is function, which means the fixture will be called for each function or test method and will be destroyed at the end of the test method. So if all my test methods depends on a fixture which opens a database connection, then each time the DB connection will be created and closed at the end of the function, which are usually time expensive to create. But if we want that my DB connection should be created only once per test file, so that all test methods can use the same connections and fixtures won't be created again for all the test methods. To do that, we can change the scope of the fixtures. The default scope of the fixture is function. And to define the scope of a fixture, we can type scope equals to function. So either you provide the scope as function or you don't provide the scope, then it means the same. Now to better understand this, let me create a new fixture. And I'm going to provide the scope of fixture as function. Let me create a method which will print a message into the console as scope fixture. And now I'll call these fixtures in all the test methods which I have. Let me comment the existing code to run the test faster. And I'll change the fixtures in the test method argument. Also, I'll add the print statement in each test method so that when we run our test, we know that our test method got executed. So all my test method calls the scope fixture and the scope of the fixture is provided as function. Now, if I run all my test, then you can see first in the test fixture demo file, it printed the scope fixture into the console because the fixture was called for a test method, verify Python book price. And here, it printed the message from the same method. Then you can see here it again printed the scope fixture because again the fixture got called by another test method in the same file because we have given the scope of the fixture as function. So for each test method, the fixtures will be called each time. Now, if I remove the scope from the fixture, then we can verify that the default scope of a fixture is function. You can see again it printed scope fixture into the console for each test method. Because if you don't provide the scope of a fixture, then by default it will take it as a function. Now let me change the scope of the fixture as module. In Python, a module is a file which contains Python code statements. So here all my Python files are modules. A module or Python file contains either Python classes or just functions. Now if I run my test, then you can see here this time fixture got called once per module or file. First it got called for this test file and then it got created for another test file or module. So if you want to create your fixture only once per test file, then you can provide the scope as module. Now, the next scope which you can provide to a fixture is session. Session here means that the fixture will be called only once per test session. So when I run my test session by typing command by test, then in this test execution session, 
the fixture will be called only once and same instance of fixture will be used by all test methods in the test run session you can see here this scope fixture is printed only once because the first time it is created then the scope of the fixture will remain throughout the test session so the session here is equal to a py test command to run the test then another type of fixture scopes available are classes and packages if you want to limit the scope of your fixture to a test class then you can provide classes in scope and if you want to limit the scope to a package then you can provide the package in fixture scope so this is how you can create conf test file and you can then define the scope of your fixtures i hope you like this video please put your comments in the comment box also please do not forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you